The PYD has announced that it will declare a self-controlled federation in northern Syria later on Wednesday or Thursday. The PYD is the Syrian affiliate of the PKK terror group, which is currently fighting the Turkish state in the country southeast. Well, PYD officials are meeting other representatives from self-declared autonomous areas in northern Syria. Well, in a moment, we'll get reaction from Ankara and we'll be live in Geneva as well, where peace talks are underway. But we begin our coverage on the Turkish-Syria border. Nicole Johnston is there for us. Nicole, give us a bit more detail on this announcement by the PYD. What exactly do they mean by autonomous region? Well, that's a very good question. We don't have a great deal of information about what they mean and exactly how this will change the situation on the ground. We do know that the PYD has effectively had three autonomous cantons for well over a year now. Now, these cantons are Jazeera, Afrin and Kabani. It's given them a huge swathe of territory that they control on the Syrian-Turkish border when you head in that direction, they control some 400 kilometres of land all the way to the Iraq border. In this direction as well, they have a large canton, but their blank spot is behind me. Now, obviously, the PYD would like to have a contiguous swathe of territory. That's a big concern, a big threat for the state of Turkey. But the PYD has been fighting to try and get control of this area behind me. It's currently under the control of uh, uh, the Syrian opposition. But in there, you have contesting for territory, not only the PYD, the Syrian opposition, but also Daesh. And as you move closer towards the uh, countryside of Aleppo. There's even a greater presence of the Syrian regime there. So what exactly this will mean on the ground, we don't know just yet. It could well be a political ploy, a manoeuvre by the PYD to try and get the world to uh, sit up and, and pay attention to them, particularly as they've been excluded from the, the uh, peace process, from these talks that are underway in Geneva at the moment. OK, Nicole, many thanks for that. Nicole there, the Turkish city of Kilis. Let's cross to our correspondent in Ankara, Ahmet Hamdi Shishman. Uh, Ahmet, what is going to be the reaction from Turkey? I believe we've had a response just in the last few minutes. Yes, indeed. Uh, Ankara is closely uh, following the developments. Uh, Turkish Foreign Ministry source said uh, the form of Syria's government and political structure to be determined by all sections of Syrian people with a new constitution. The statement said, therefore, any declaration of a uh, unilateral declaration of a federation is, for that matter, is invalid. Turkey has always defended uh, territorial integrity of Syria ever since the, uh, the civil war started in the country. And as a matter of fact, this is not just Turkey's standpoint, but uh, also Iran uh, argues the same, uh, same thing. Uh, Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu visited Tehran about 10 days ago, and both leaders uh, agreed that Syria should stay in one piece. Uh, when it it comes to PYD, Turkey's uh, standpoint is, is well known. Turkey says uh, PYD is just an affiliation of terrorist PKK that, that fights the Turkish state inside Turkish borders. And PYD, PYD is accused of uh, carrying out series of assassinations of uh, rival uh, Kurdish uh, prominent members of the community in nor northern Syria. Also, uh, a report of Amnesty International back in October said that PYD is trying to change the demographics of the region under its control, uh, uh, force, forcing to uh, forcing for replacement of people from uh, other ethnic groups like Arabs and Turkmens, and also demolishing the villages in the areas. And the report said that this amounts to war crimes. Okay, Ahmed, many thanks for that. Ahmed Hamdi Shishman joining us there from Ankara.